Maryland, and 82 this year. Here in Hall of Abner's, only the finest elements are used for our wands, and only a few particular types of wood are of good quality. What is your name? Hudson. Hudson. Yes, of course. I was wondering when I was going to be seeing you. Please come into the light so that I may see you more clearly. Right here, if you would. Now, you may know that every Oliband wand has a core of a powerful natural substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and nut strings of dragons. No two Oliband wands are the same, just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. Of course, you will never get such good results with another wizard wand. So, let us begin. Let's see, yeah. ah, yes, here it is, a wand of poplar. Hmm? Now, 13 inches long, solid. Ah, yes, a dragon hat string cord. Now, let's try it out, shall we? If you would, please water my flowers by pointing your wand at them, concentrate, and say, Augmenti. What? Augmenti. Oh, come on, Keith. It's very good. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, definitely not. Not to worry, though. You'll want this here somewhere, and we shall find it. Yes. Ah, very good, yes. You see, the best results must always come when there is the strongest affinity between wizard and... and wand. Yes, yes, of course. Why not? Aha! A wand of sycamore. Hmm? Now, 13 and a half inches long, swishy. Ah, uh, a unicorn hair cord. There you go. Now, if you would, uh, please bring that ladder over here by pointing your wand at it, concentrate, and say, Occhio ladder. It's always been clear to those of us that study wands, Lord, that the wand chooses the wizard. through this door and thank you for selecting all of that. Thank you. 